Well, I'm about to give my car a little charge. So I currently live in an apartment complex, so I don't have my own private dedicated uh, charging. I know for people who live in single family homes, that definitely makes uh, owning an EV um, a really great situation. Uh, in my case, the apartment complex where I live uh, does have for $60 a month uh, EV spots, uh, but as I'll show in a future video where I really break down uh, the cost of driving an electric vehicle, I definitely don't pay $60 a month for charging, so I think in my case having that uh, space where I currently live wasn't really an attractive option for me, so I pretty much just charge as I need it. Um, so right now I'm going to uh, take my car just across the street where there is an there's an urgent um, care uh, health center type of place and they have some charge point um, level 2 chargers so let's head over there. So right now as you can see with the uh, meter on the left uh, I have a range of 117 miles on my current charge uh, that's about 42 percent of the battery let's go charge So this is the charge point app that I have on my phone and what I like about um, charging an EV uh, you can often track uh, how much uh, uh, energy has been delivered to your battery and also track uh, the cost so uh, there we go I'll be back in a few hours well let's see how my charging is going 62 miles have been added over the past two hours and 40 minutes um, and it's cost three dollars and 66 cents right now so i'm going to walk over there and get my car see you in a minute So de just did some level two charging. In about uh, three hours, my Chevy Bolt received about 70 miles added to its range for a cost of $4.40. Um, where I live in the San Francisco Bay Area, you can't even get a gallon of gas for $4.40. So that was a look at level two charging. Mm -hmm. 